Okay, so this is the second problem of the out of eight uh, uh, common problems in vector analysis. So, okay, so now we have a vector field S. Okay, um, this is expressed in a sorry uh, rectangular in a rectangular coordinates as S capital S is equal to 125 over that uh, expression okay and then and uh, then there's a product of this one so this is the uh, vector field s then evaluate s at point two four three and then determine a unit vector that gives the direction of s at p so and then um, specify the surface f x y z on which uh, the absolute magnitude of S is equal to 1, okay? So, uh, if you rewrite the um, vector field, uh, we know that vector field is a, is a mathematical expression of whatever field, no? Like, uh, I mean, if there's a wave, for example, of the C, so the vector field in the, in the wave of the C is the direction of the water, no? So vector field is, is a field, no, or the gravitational field. The gravitational field is directing towards the center of the Earth. Okay, so if you are in the U.S. or in the Europe or anywhere in the world, it's always directing towards the center of the Earth. Okay, so um, so we express that one in a mathematical expression. So then we call this one the vector field. Okay, so uh, so if you write the vector field here, so you have S is equal to um, so these are the values, no x, y, z. So we have three dimensions here, x, y, z. So this represents, uh, these are the variables representing the magnitude. Okay. So the first part actually is the magnitude. So you have one, uh, you have uh, one twenty-five. Okay. If you look at, be careful with the parentheses, the bracket, and the brace. No, it, it there's an order with that. No, there's an order. So, um, so the brace. Okay. So this one first. So this is the same term in the denominator. So this is um, x minus one squared plus uh, y minus two squared plus uh, g plus one squared. Okay. So this is the magnitude. This is the magnitude of s. Okay. Um, with respect to x, y, z, because variables x, y, z uh, variables. No. So it means it changes with respect to your displacement so if you are here in this place so you have um, coordinates xyz so you will put that one and get the magnitude of the um, gravitational field okay for example and then the, the the other one is the what we call the the it's like the the direction okay so you have x uh, so it's actually with a brace um, but we can use the um, x minus one ax so this one is the direction, okay? Okay, so this is the direction. Okay, also with respect to your coordinates x, y, and z. Okay, so um, the first problem is asking or to evaluate what is the vector. Uh, what is the uh, what is the actually we're looking into the 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 um, what is the vector field at point p okay so at point p at p okay two four three okay so we we evaluate s okay given the coordinates two four three for x and y or uh, x y z respectively okay so you just very very simple for a so you just uh, replace the value okay we have 125 and um, divided by 2 minus 1 uh, okay so two, yeah, 2 minus 1 squared plus uh, 4 minus 2 squared plus uh, z is equal to 3 plus 1 squared okay and then is also replacing the other side so we have um, uh, 2 minus 1 ax plus uh, 4 minus 2 ay plus uh, 3 plus 1 ag Okay, when you evaluate that one, then we will have, um, you have this one, this part here is a, the, the magnitude. So this is a scalar value, okay? So it's a certain number, then you multiply individually, okay? 
you multiply this uh, you distribute the value towards ax and ay and az okay you can use your calculator if you want okay so and then the answer for this is equal to 5.95 ax and then plus 11.90 ay plus uh, 23.8 AZ. Okay? Very simple. It, it means that at point P, this is the, this is the, it's like the, the strength, no, but uh, it's not the magnitude, no, but uh, it's like the, the magnitude plus the direction of your um, S at point P. It means that along Z axis, so it has a, um, it has a greater um, impact to AZ because it has 23.8 compared to ax okay so so that that's what it means no and then for the letter b we were, were just asked by a unit vector that gives the direction of s at p so how do you get the unit vector okay how do you get the unit vector the unit vector okay we can say uh um, you can express this as AP or UP. No, a small a, a unit vector of point at point P. Okay, so uh, actually uh, we can use the S instead of a. But, uh, S small, but uh, regard as long as we understand that this is the unit vector uh, at point P. No, due to uh, vector field S. Okay, so this is therefore equals to S over absolute of s okay so we all already have the value here for the s 5.95 ax plus 11.9 uh, ay plus uh, 23.8 az then we just simply divide by the magnitude okay so the magnitude is just the square root of 5.95 squared plus 11.90 uh, squared plus 23.8 squared now, if you notice, for the unit vector, it's always less than 1. Okay? Okay, from 0 to 1. I mean, positive or negative. So, so the, the answer here, if you use your calculator, uh, so you have 0 0.218 um, AX plus uh, 0 0.436 AY and then plus uh, 0 0.873 AC. Okay, so, and then, uh, so, uh, problems A and B are um, simple, no? Uh, because you just simply put or plug in the values of um, the coordinates. Now, problem C is a bit uh, challenging. Okay, specify the surface, um, uh, surface X, Y, Z. Now, this surface is a... Uh, how you call it? It's a surface, okay, that gives the S or the the vector field is equal to 1, okay? So, um, this is like, um, because X, Y, Z, this surface is actually, it can be any surface. It can be, um, it can be sphere, it can be a rectangular prism, it can be anything, no? But as long as uh, this one is a, uh, it's like a, uh, let's say this is a, uh, this is a, um, I suppose, because this is a rectangular, and then uh, given uh, by observation, uh, more or less the 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 surface that uh, the problem is dealing with is a sphere. Okay, so uh, so problem C, so we're actually dealing with a sphere. Okay, sphere is a three-dimensional, no. You have a circle and then you rotate it, you know, along, along a uh, um, three-dimensional space, no? Um, so this, uh, this surface, uh, this has a magnitude of 1, okay, for the vector field S. So if this is your, uh, so this is a, this is a sphere, okay? So that, that's a sphere. Uh, so the magnitude should be equal to 1. But how do you solve this? How do we solve this? Very simple. We just get the vector field. 
and uh, get the magnitude it should be equal to 1 now how do you get the magnitude how do you get the magnitude of s Okay, very simple. Okay, the, the first thing is you just get uh, you just need to get the s, the absolute s. Okay, the absolute s is equal to the square root of ah this one. Okay, but uh, actually if the absolute s this this is the case no, but this value here is at point p. But what is as uh, what is asked in the problem is the the variables x y z. So therefore. Um, we don't plug in the va value 2, 4, and 3 for the x, y, z um, variables. In this case, we will just simply uh, take the square root, no? Okay? Take the square root of actually all the values. Uh, all the values here. So you have... Uh, 125 along x okay in the look at the the vector field so this is x minus 1 okay then actually you multiply by 125 no so we multiply by 125 so so we multiply by uh, 125 and then divided by the along x uh, al the denominator But uh, since they all have the same denominator, so actually we can just write that one, no? Uh, y minus 2 squared plus uh, z plus 1 squared, okay? And then um, uh, just take the square of this. Square. And then this one is uh, for the ax, so this one is square plus then plus along y so you have 125 along uh, y minus 2 plus uh, z plus 1 uh, 125 i forgot the right to 125 it's actually uh, so that's the right Great. okay and then this should be equal to 1 Okay, now, uh, this one is a bit uh, challenging um, if you try to manipulate. Uh, but actually, uh, there's another way of solving this. And that's, you remove the, uh, we remove the, the magnitude. Uh, because the magnitude here is equal to 1. And uh, so, actually, we cancel it out here. Uh, if you do the operation here, so, okay, continuation. Continuation of this. So, actually, the denominator, the square root of this square, you cancel this one with the radical sign. And then cross multiply to 1. So, actually, the equivalent uh, value here is uh, um, square root of, uh, you write the... Square root of uh, 125, okay, then times the the x plus 1, ah sorry, x minus 1, x minus 1, uh, plus, this is squared, so, Square so one twenty five m m so y minus two squared and uh, plus uh, z plus one squared okay and then equals to um, actually this one is the x minus one um, squared plus uh, y minus two squared plus uh, g plus one Squared. 
Okay, so this this uh, the left left hand side square root of one twenty five and blah blah blah, and then the other side. Okay, so uh, yeah, this one is due to the product of this one. This one the, the square in the bottom, the denominator is cancelled out by the radical sign. Okay, so uh, that case, uh, so actually we can separate the two. So this is one half. Um, if we take the square of uh, we take the square of both sides what will happen so this one uh, if you take the square uh, you take the square this becomes uh, 125 actually you can divide no um, uh, because this is 125 square uh, take the square root so that's 125 uh, 125 okay so this is 125 125 so the square root of 125 is uh, 125 square is one then square root of um, can it, uh, this one so we just just write this one as asterisk okay uh, let's say asterisk so square root of asterisk so that you will understand so 125 square root of asterisk okay uh, okay and then it's equal to the asterisk no so you know what I mean, okay? So I'm just uh, sim sim. Uh, there's a symbol there. There's a, a asterisk, okay? So therefore, one twenty five. Uh, you take the cross multiply. So this is a uh, asterisk over square root. So, okay. Now we know that uh, these two term you multiply by square root of asterisk, then asterisk, okay? Um, you get the point and then this denominator becomes cancel cancel so it's become asterisk so asterisk uh, times uh, the, so this one will be cancelled no and then this one. okay so therefore the answer is 125 is equal to the square root of um, x minus 1 squared plus uh, y minus 2 squared plus g plus 1 squared okay so uh, uh, I'm, I'm just using asterisk so that I will not write very long no just try to uh, to show you that uh, um, how to get to the final answer okay so this is the answer so this is the expression or this is the function okay this is the function that gives us the um, the, uh, the sphere now are you sure that this is a sphere yes because um, if you take the square of both sides, this one is 125. Uh, this one is x minus 1 squared plus uh, y minus 2 squared plus uh, g mi plus 1 squared is equal to 125 squared. Okay? So, actually, this is the what? This is the expression of um, a sphere. Okay? So, x plus uh, x minus h, y minus k, and then z minus l okay so and then square all of them no and then you have the sphere so this is the uh, solution okay so uh, in this case we have solved uh, problem number two